will play a fast-paced game. Hawaii has fi all five starters are in double figures. They're a very good rebounding team, plus eight on the season. And Boise, normally a good ball handling team. They start four guards. They're going to open up the court. They play a four-guard set. They're open offense. But the last couple games, Leon Rice very upset with their ball handling, their assist-to-turnover ratio. They've settled down. He just says that we're not on a business trip. We're not on vacation in Hawaii. We're on a mission to start playing better. And I think they will, but they're on Hawaii's home court. A difficult task. Both teams really don't defend that well. They want to outscore you. What does home court mean in a tournament like this? Well, it means a lot because the travel t sure. issue is big going to Hawaii, where Hawaii <laughs> is just staying home and they're ready. Hawaii's a good basketball team. This will be a good game. Boise State started 8 0, best start in program history. They've dropped two straight. They take that to Hawaii. That action coming up next from Honolulu. You're watching ESPN's Holiday Hoops, presented by K Jewelers. Welcome to the Hawaiian Airlines Diamond Head Classic, all part of Holiday Hoops, presented by K Jewelers. Our final quarterfinal matchup Boise State and the Holtz, the Rainbow Warriors of the University of Hawaii. Here is the bracket Iowa State, Akron, one semifinal matchup. South Carolina stunning St. Mary's, handing the Gales their first loss of the season. The winner of this matchup awaits South Carolina. Along with the most outstanding player from the 1997 Final Four, Miles Simon. Roxy Bernstein with you. If you want offense, you want high scoring, we have the right game for you. A game, Miles, that will get up and down the floor. Absolutely. Both of these teams average 86 points per game. There will be no lack of three point shots, transition opportunities, and wide open uh, spacing on this floor. We'll take us to the one on one for this matchup. What are you looking for tonight? Well, first for the Boise State Broncos, they're a team that loves to cause turnovers with their four guard offense. They have their plus four and a half on the turnover margin on the season, which leads to a 99 point advantage over their opponents in points off of turnovers. And for the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors, they want to pound the glass. They have an advantage on the inside with Isaac Fotu and Christian Stan Hardinger leading the way in the painted area, plus 8.2 rebound margin for the Rainbow Warriors. Let's give you the starting lineups. First for Boise State, Derek Marks, the junior from Chicago. Igor Hatziomerovic, along with Jeff Eloriaga, an outstanding three-point shooter. Anthony Drimmick, the leading scorer for Boise State. Ryan Watkins, a 6'9 senior, very physical player, averaging close to a double-double per game. For the Rainbow Warriors of Hawaii, Keith Schamberger and Garrett Nevels, the backcourt with Brandon Spearman. Christian Stan Hardinger and Isaac Fotu, the starting five for Hawaii, who comes in at seven and two. Gib Arnold, his fourth season as the head coach at the University of Hawaii. He was the state player of the year in Hawaii, his senior year of high school. And Gib Arnold coaching at the same school where his dad, Frank, was also the head coach, now again in his fourth season here at Hawaii. On the other side, former Gonzaga assistant Leon Rice in his fourth season as Boise State's head coach, the first Boise State head coach to have two 20-win seasons, first three years at the helm, and led Boise State to an at-large bid in the NCAA tournament last season. In fact, Boise State, the only team that returns all five starters from an NC2A tournament team from a season ago. And look at the numbers here, Miles. Very similar across the board offensively for these two teams. Well, as we spoke of, both of these teams want to play fast break basketball, but they do it in different ways. Boise State employing a, a four-guard offense. They love to attack the paint off the bounce. And then for the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors and Gib Arnold's team, they have the two horses on the inside and both two and starting Stan Hardinger. Both of those guys have been very effective so far early in the season. And Boise State, who was off to their first 8-0 start in school history, but they've lost their last two, so the Broncos are 8-2, while Hawaii has won five straight, seeking their first six-game winning streak since they won eight in a row back in November and December of 2004. And so the Rainbow Warriors, the hosts of this tournament, and a good crowd on hand on this Sunday night in Hawaii. 
And Boise State also well represented here with the Broncos playing in the Hawaii Bowl against Oregon State coming up on Christmas Eve at 8 o'clock Eastern. Home whites for Hawaii and the traveling black with the blue numbers in the orange outline for Boise State. A lot of energy and enthusiasm in the building at the Stan Sheriff Center. And we are underway and Boise State will have the possession first. Yeah, the thing that the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors are going to want to do, they want to keep this Boise State team out of the painted area as much as possible. And then they always have to locate Loriaga, one of the best three-point shooters in the nation. Shot clock at 10. Underneath, Brian Watkins off the window. Excellent ball movement and player movement on the first possession for the Broncos. They got two or three paint touches by the dribble, and that leads to the easy layup. Keith Schamberger. Christian Stan Hardinger spinning into the lane. The floater. Too strong from Garrett Nevels and a foul going for the rebound. And it's whistled against Boise State and Ryan Watkins his first. Watkins is maybe the one guy that can't get into foul trouble for this Boise State team. Ten points, nine rebounds a game, but he's really their only inside presence that can, that can give them something, especially on the offensive end. And Hawaii has a little bit of depth on the inside. Maybe an advantage for the Rainbow Warriors going inside tonight. Spearman a three off the mark from Brandon Spearman, cleared by Boise State. Pass underneath to lay in by Anthony Drimmick. For Hawaii, what do you see that they need to do tonight? Well, first, Hawaii, you see them attacking in transition, but they have to defend. They have to defend the paint. So far, the first two baskets, both coming as layups for the Broncos. Stepping through the double team. Christian Stan Harding are missing. And it's cleared by Ryan Watkins and Boise State. Boise State always on attack mode. Deflected. Out of bounds of Boise State basketball. What do you see as the keys for Boise State tonight? Well, I think they really have to get their leading scorer, Anthony Dremick, going. He struggled the last two games, both of them losses by the Broncos at Kentucky and then at home against St. Mary's. Nine for 29 from the field. But this is a guy they want to get him some touches and some, some good early looks within the first few minutes of this game. Mark's more of a driver than a three-point shooter. Shot clock at seven. Travel. And a walk called against Igor Hadziomerovic. He shuffled his feet right away. He probably could have shot fake and then attacked the paint. Just over two minutes in, and Hawaii is still looking to get onto the scoreboard. Lob over the top. Isaac Foto is playing with a broken right hand. Left it short, and the rebound, Ryan Watkins for Boise State. Give Arnold was open. He was ready to shoot it. <laughs> Triple threat position right there from the coach. Well, he was player of the year <laughs> in the state of Hawaii. But Drimmick with the poor decision as Hatsio Marovic. <laughs> right in rhythm. Well, he said he, he's he has a torn meniscus right now. He was playing with his sons. And he says, uh, you know, he can't get out there and, and, and get his ball on. Currently, he's going to wait and have surgery after the season. As it go to the pass deflected, stolen. Here come the Broncos. Derek March to the basket in the spike. <laughs> Derek March with the mean mug too, <laughs> as he's coming down the floor. But he got his steps down, and he knew that they were going up to contest, and he threw that one down hard. Hashtag SC top ten. Well, it's after midnight. In, in Bristol, so they might have to carry it over until tomorrow. Christian Sen Hardinger breaks the seal for Hawaii. Sen Hardinger is one of the hardest playing players in the country. Good perimeter shooter, not really to the three-point line, but.
but able to knock down the 17 footer right there. Ryan Watkins from the perimeter. Offensive rebound, Derek Marks. Underneath, and the lay in by Ryan Watkins. The Broncos, such an unselfish team. They don't care who scores the basketball, making an easier play for a teammate there. Ryan. And a steal. Jeff Eloriaga. Gives it right back. He's Schamberger pushing. And a three on one, he fumbles it away. Well, he dribbled too far on that one. He had Stan Hardinger open early on the break. Should have gave it up, but was dribbling with his head down. And a block called against Christian Stan Hardinger. And Derek Marks, the junior from the side town, getting the deflection, the, the, the look ahead, and then the hard throwdown for the Broncos. Song and Dr. Pepper, always one of a kind. 8-2, Boise State out in front of Hawaii as you look at Waikiki Beach out in front of the Royal Hawaiian, the historic pink hotel along Waikiki and a view of Diamond Head. The campus of the UH and Boise State giving it to the home team early here. You see Hawaii coming out zone out of that timeout. Unable to track it down as Anthony Drimmick couldn't save it for his team, but a giveaway. Hustling is Garrett Nevels for the Bows. Both teams doing a poor job of taking care of the basketball. Four turnovers by the Broncos and three by Hawaii. Quincy Smith, the sophomore from Antioch, California, is in for Hawaii. Should have thrown that ball inside. Stan Hardy has the advantage over Drimmick. Quincy Smith trying to get it inside, but he walked first. Hawaii really seems out of sorts offensively. Well, I think both teams playing with a lot of emotion, a lot of energy. It's a good crowd in here, excellent vibe across the gym. And I think for Hawaii, you know, a great test to play this Boise State team, a team that went to the NCAA tournament last year and returns all five starters. All eight points for the Broncos have come in the paint. Nick Duncan is in a freshman from Sydney, Australia for Boise State. Good closeout by Nevels on the Loriaga. Off balance runner. No good from Hadzio Morovic. And it's Spearman to the basket. Banks it in. That's where Brandon Spearman's at his best. Not much of a three-point shooter, but when he can get out in transition, he, he's big, physical, and able to go through the contact there. Anthony Drimmick attacks Christian Stan Hardinger. Rattles out. Isaac Foto the rebound. Brandon Spearman along the baseline is fouled by Jeff Loriaga. And here you see just running the break, Nevels with the nice pass. Spearman able to get under control. Nice job of controlling his body, avoiding the charge, and then the soft touch off the glass. Aaron Valdez, a redshirt freshman from Whittier, California, checks in. Brandon Spearman, the last bucket from senior from Chicago. Isaac Foto, the offensive rebound. Foto, the Big West co-freshman of the year, along with Alex Young from UCI last year. Foto, 13 and 7 early in this season. Reach and foul on Aaron Valdez of Hawaii there, who's clutching his right elbow after bumping in to Jeff Eloriaga. There is Valdez heading to the bench, clutching that right elbow is Brandon Juwato, a sophomore from El Segundo, who's struggling to get on track this season. We'll get an opportunity now. Juwato can really shoot it if he's in a groove. Last year he had seven threes and a half against UC Riverside. And a whistle off the ball and a hold is called against Hawaii. And it's Brandon Juwato is first. 
Third on the bows. And there is Aaron Valdez getting looked at in the tunnel just beyond the Hawaii bench. We hope maybe it's just like a funny bone and he has a little tingling sensation. We hope it's nothing serious. Mikey Thompson off the bench hits a three. Mikey Thompson averages nearly 10 points per game, but that's a bonus with him. He's knocking down a three. He's only two for 11 coming into today's game. Christian Stan Hardinger. Short on the jumper, it's cleared by Boise State and Derek Barnes. I don't like what Stan Hardinger is doing early in this game. He has an advantage over Brokeway or Drimmick. Get in the post, try to attack the paint. Stan Hardinger is so good off the dribble. Has to stop settling for these 17-footers. Open three. That's buried by Jeff Haloriaga. How can you lose him? Fourth best three-point shooter in the country at 60%. Haloriaga playing a stretch four spot at 6-2 for the Broncos, but wide open, one of the best strokes in the country. Poor communication defensively between Fotu and Spearman. Leaves Eloriaga open, and, and he lets him know about the three goggles. Just lines it up, perfect stroke, great follow through, excellent arc by the three-point assassin. Boise State, there's their rank in terms of points in the Mountain West Conference. So efficient offensively, and the continuity. This is a group that was together last year, had success. Boise State winning 21 games, getting an at-large bid to the tournament. And all five starters are back as they return from last year's team, 92% of their scoring. 157 of 160 starts returned for Leon Rice. Well, I think what Coach Rice really likes about this team is that they had some success last year, but they reminded themselves that they finished fourth in league and lost in the first round of the NCAA tournament. They came back hungrier this past offseason, this summer, and on into the season because they wanted to improve on all of those things. Brandon Spearman gets the bounce off the rim. Jim Arnold changing his defenses up on that make. A little bit of, of pressure now back into the man-to-man. -man. From the corner, shot missed by Nick Duncan. Cleared by Hawaii. And with Nick Duncan in the game, he's more of a pick and pop guy, but he'll defend the five. And then Spearman again on attack mode, getting all the way to the rim. He has seven of Hawaii's 11 and a three point lead for Boise State. And Christian Stan Hardinger almost with a steal and easy bucket. The Bows hanging in there with Boise State. Fun basketball here in Honolulu is the Duke sits over Waikiki Beach. Been head classic. This is the final quarterfinal matchup. Earlier today, Iowa State over George Mason. Akron knocked off Oregon State. And the stunner, South Carolina, and St. Mary's their first loss of the year. And South Carolina will play the winner of this game in the semifinals. Here's some news and notes from earlier today. George Niang, the big game for Iowa State, who is still unbeaten. Nine remaining unbeaten to college basketball. President Barack Obama was here to see his brother-in-law, Craig Robinson, coach Oregon State. But the Beavers came up short against Demetrius Treadwell and Akron. And then South Carolina upended St. Mary's in a tremendous performance by Frank Martin's team. Yeah, absolutely. Frank Martin's squad, they came out ready and very prepared for St. Mary's and took it to him right from the start of that basketball game and earned that victory. Boise State after an 8-0 start has lost their last two. Well, Hawaii has won five in a row. Nick Duncan rattles in a three and the freshman. And this is where Boise State can just pick you apart. They got four guys on the floor that can all shoot the three. A couple of them that can put it, Thompson and Marks that can put it on the floor and Drimmick. But they keep that floor so spaced. Brandon Spearman feeling it for the Bows. He has 10. Spearman's already on his average for the season. Knocking down another long range shot, his second of the game. Quickly back the other way in the turnover. Ryan Watkins can't handle the pass and it goes back to Hawaii. And that's really not Watkins' fault. Drimmick, you're too close right there and he threw the pass too hard, hard for Watkins to catch that pass or any post. Back to Orlov. Unable to control it. 
looking for Davis Rosidas. And it goes out to Boise State. And it was there. Schamberger just, you have to deliver a lob pass a little bit to the left, about a foot of the, a little bit to the left of the rim, about a foot wider. But that ball hit the hit off the rim. Full court pressure from Hawaii. Boise State attacks, three on two. Anthony Drimmick a three. And the rebound, Keith Schamberger for Hawaii. Drimmick not able to find the mark as of late. Four for 19 from three over his last five games. Schamberger ties the game at deep three in the pull-up. We're even at 17. Travel against Boise State. And the crowd, Miles, beginning to be a factor. They're getting behind this team. Well, even though this is a tournament, these are true road games that anybody who has to face Hawaii in this field is going to have to deal with. Great crowd here tonight in support of their Rainbow Warriors. And excited about a 7-2 and two start for Hawaii as they've suffered a couple of losses to Missouri. And also in the tip-off marathon here to New Mexico State. A chance for a big non-conference victory here against a former conference pro as the teams used to be rivals in the WAC. Tipped up by Christian Stead Hardinger, controlled by Igor Hadzio Marovic in Boise State. Now with Rosinus in the game, they go to 1-2-2. Two, two. They put the big seven-footer to have his length and his arms and his wingspan affect the passes up top. Interesting approach to put him out top. Well, he's hard to throw that ball over. Usually teams want to gap, want to gap this type of zone, but he's hard to throw over. Pump fake. Shot clock at six. Drimmick inside. Fade away. Short. Rebound. Knocked free. Out of bounds. Hawaii basketball. Keith Schamberger might be the most important piece on this Hawaii team, and they're just probing in transition under control. Knocks down a rhythm three-point shot as nobody comes out to stop that basketball. But last year, with Jace Tavita at the point, a guy that rarely got to the foul line, only shot nine free throws for a point guard last year. But Schamberger, the transfer from San Jose State, brings another dimension to this team as a passer and scorer. Forest pass, Isaac Foto as Hawaii turns it over. Six turnovers now by the Bows. Has deflected, stolen. Quincy Smith missed the lay-in. Davies Rosinas missed the follow. Out of bounds. It's a Hawaii basketball as Nick Duncan was on the end line. Roxy, the thing I'm really surprised about watching Boise State, and this is my first time seeing them in person, is that for having so many guards on the floor, they're really a, a, a poor passing team so far in this first half. Poor job of taking care of the basketball. Lazy passes, throwing the ball out of bounds and playing just giving away possessions. Deflected off the inbound and taken away by Boise State. Derek Marks missing. Rebound and a foul is Igor Hadzio Marovic got knocked to the deck. Foul on Hawaii. First on Quincy Smith. Four now on the Rainbow Warriors. Tied at 17. Final quarter, final game of the Hawaiian Airlines Diamond Head Classic. Wet spot on the floor that they need to get wiped up here real quick before they return to action. ESPN's coverage of Capital One Bowl Week continues Christmas Eve when the Broncos face the Beavers in the Sheraton Hawaii Bowl. Capital One Bowl Week, Boise State, Oregon State, Tuesday, 8 o'clock Eastern on ESPN, also live at Watch ESPN. Both Boise State and Oregon State, of course, also in the Hawaiian Airlines Diamond Hit Classic. And both of those football teams more than capable of putting a ton of points on the board, as are their basketball counterparts. And a travel called Anthony Drimmick, the seventh turnover by Boise State. And a team that usually takes excellent care of the basketball. They turn it over only 10 times a game and have already committed seven in the first 11 and a half minutes. 
obviously uncharacteristic. And when you're you're playing a road game like this, you need to maximize every offensive possession that you can. Quincy Smith has his shot blocked by Anthony Drimmick. Smith gets a timeout before the tie-up. And a 30-second timeout used by Hawaii. And they only have three timeouts the remainder of the game. They've used two already in this first half. And they're just running this dribble weave action there at the top. And Quincy Smith fakes like he's going to hand that ball off. Poor communication by the Broncos. Drimmick kind of saves the day with the block. And then Quincy Smith, nowhere to go with it, calls the timeout. Gib Arnold and his squad looking for their first six-game winning streak since November, December of 2004. And also trying to win their first round game or their quarterfinal game in the Hawaiian Airlines Diamond Head Classic for just the second time. The inaugural event was the first time and only time that Hawaii has won their first game in a fourth place finish, which is their best in this event. First trip over for Leon Rice and Boise State to this tournament, but very familiar with Hawaii. In fact, Leon Rice's first year was also Gib Arnold's first year at Hawaii. And they were in the same conference at the time. They were both in the WAC. And then, of course, Boise State has moved to the Mountain West. And Hawaii now will begin their second go through with the Big West Conference this season. Deep three. Shot clock running out. It pops out for Keith Schamberger. And it's taken control of by Mikey Thompson for Boise State. Wide open look. And it's buried by Anthony Drimmick. Great job of making the extra pass by Loriaga. And more importantly, he threw it right in rhythm to the shooting pocket of Drimmick. working the post against Foto. Inside, and a foul underneath is Davis Rosidis going to the line. And the Boise State Broncos have a three-point lead, and it's because of the unselfish play, and then the knockdown three by Drimmick in the corner. For the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors, it's been the Brandon Spearman show in the first few minutes of this game. He's been attacking there in transition, getting all the way to the paint, then knocking down the three-point shot with the soft home court roll, and then another three high arcing. And then again on attack mode with the beautiful athletic finish at the rim. Brandon Spearman with 10 of the 17 points for the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors. Four of five from the floor has hit a couple of threes. And Spearman getting a breather right now as his teammate Tavis Rositis at the line, the senior from Latvia, transferred from USC. Rositis just short on the first one, but a 74% foul shooter coming in. He has excellent touch for a big man. Not scared to shoot the 15 to 17 footer, but really where he's most effective is on the defensive end for Coach Gib Arnold. This is both the rebound. Igor Hadzio Maravich for Boise State. Second foul on Jeff Eloriaga, who's still in the game for Leon Rice. Mikey Thompson should be looking to take Lazidis off the dribble. Here is Thompson. Into the lane. Counted and one for Mikey Thompson. And there should be no way that Rosidis should be able to stay in front of Mikey Thompson. Rosidis just not quick, just not quick enough laterally at seven feet to be able to move and, and keep his feet in front of Mikey Thompson. The crossover, a little hesitation, a little bit of contact there. The White Rainbow Warriors are wondering where it came from, but nice job of recognition by Thompson. One shot for Thompson. Fallon keeps Schamberger his first. Coach Rice during this two-game losing streak really has praised this team saying that this team didn't point fingers while they lost these two games. They're high character kids, and they told each other, we have to be tougher. We were scrappier last year, and we have to play a little bit harder if we want to be more successful. They called a lane violation against Keith Schamberger of Hawaii, so one more attempt at his three-point play for Mikey Thompson, who is an 83% foul shooter. And he gets it. 
Boise State is led by as many as eight. White needs to find a way to get Garrett Neville's a shot. He's 0 for 1, but he's their second leading scorer, the junior college transfer from Mount San Antonio College. Isaac Fotu. The running hook with the broken right hand, and he still gets it to go. Love the patience that he showed in the post. Didn't feel he had it the first time. Repost, and I love a lot of times in college, once that ball comes out, it never goes back in. But the Rainbow Warriors find Fotu, and he makes an aggressive move to the running hook. Just a motion dribble drive offense by the Broncos. Shot clock at five. Mikey Thompson losing the ball, going up. Isaac Fotu is fouled. Excellent defensive possession there by the Rainbow Warriors, their best of the first half. And here's Fotu just taking the bumps and then the long steps to, and the running hook across the lane. Not an easy shot, but very skilled play by Isaac Fotu. First foul on Anthony Drimmick. Four on Boise State. Christian Stan Hardinger rattles in the spot of three. Stan Hardinger seems content to shoot jump shots tonight. I know he knocked that one down, but only 21% from behind the arc. Ball off the foot of Thompson. Stan Hardinger tries to die for it and save it. He's out of bounds. Goes right back to Boise State. And Roxy, I, I, I'm watching that play. I'm about 20 feet away from that. I don't know if he needed to dive for that basketball. He gets it right there, a couple steps. That ball was slowing down. I don't think he need to, needed to dive, and that actually propelled him into going out of bounds. If he just runs and tracks that down, that saves the possession. One-point lead for Boise State. Again, the pressure from Give Arnold's team on picking up Boise State full court. Tough spot to inbound the ball from in the backcourt. Well, it would be tougher if they put one of the guys on the basketball, but they're an easy inbound because no one on the basketball. And that's dangerous. Marks is limping after slipping there on the floor. It might have been a wet spot. Sometimes those lead to little groin strains or injuries. Keith Schamberger gives Hawaii their first lead. I love the pace that Schamberger plays with. Takes what the defense gives him, able to get all the way to the rim and finish there. Nobody stopping the basketball. Hadzi Omerovich is too late. And then you love that Fotu screened off Watkins there and left the lane wide open. The hesitation dribble and Schamberger able to get all the way to the rim with the finish. Second foul on Christian Stan Hardinger. That's now six on Hawaii in the first appearance for Mike Thomas, the 6'8 freshman from Woodland Hills in Southern California. Anthony Drimmick out of bounds. Hawaii basketball. And that was a good job by Spearman to move his feet and to play defense and contest that shot without fouling on Drimmick there. Moves his feet, shows his hands. And Drimmick not able to finish at the rim. Fotu's going to get called with the moving screen at some point in this game. But Schamberger is the pace center. Great job of execution on the side. Ball screen there. Schamberger turns the corner. Fotu does his job, rolls to the rim. And that pass was delivered on time to the big fella for the lay-in. 30-second timeout, Boise State is Hawaii has opened up a three-point lead. And you see he turns the corner. Watkins is too flat, so he doesn't help. He's kind of in no man's land there. Watkins has to make a decision to either stop the basketball. As we go over the top right here, Schamberger does a great job, but watch Ryan Watkins. We freeze it right there. Watkins is too flat. Now he's in no man's land. They roll it. Schamberger does a great job of eyeing Fotu all the way to the rim. That is perfect execution of side ball screen action. Nine straight points for the Rainbow Warriors. And Hawaii has opened up a three-point lead on Boise State. Just over four and a half minutes remaining in the first half.
foul off the ball. It's called on Brandon Spearman. And his first. And just a, a hard cut. Young, young players across the country don't understand all the time about how to move without the basketball. But Anthony Drimmick right there, he just passed that ball and then made a hard dive to the basket, drawing that foul and now getting an opportunity to go get some points at the line. 17 foul by Hawaii, so it puts Boise State into the bonus. Anthony Drimmick, his 73% foul shooter, gets one more. Anthony Drimmick did something kind of unique. Usually a lot of players love to just work out and play a ton during the summer. He took a couple months off. He went home to Australia. He worked out at the Andrew Bogut Basketball Academy. But his big thing he wanted to emphasize was getting bigger and stronger because he plays with such a reckless abandon, throws his body around, but he's thicker through the shoulders and able to take more contact this season. Spearman off the mark with that three-pointer. And it's a Boise State basketball. One-point lead, Hawaii over Boise State. ESPNU's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by... 26-25 over Boise State. ESPNU's coverage of ACC basketball continues Friday with Marcus Page and the Tar Heels host Northern Kentucky at the Dean Smith Center. Northern Kentucky and North Carolina Friday at 7 on ESPNU. Also live on Watch ESPN. Entertaining first half so far between Boise State and the host of the Hawaiian Airlines Diamond Head Classic, Hawaii. Both teams four of seven from long range, but a combined 18 turnovers, Miles. Yeah, a little bit sloppy by both teams, obviously taking care of the basketball. If they can clean that up in the second half, I think we'll see a much more high-scoring game. Is that an indication the teams are trying to play too fast at times in this game? Well, I, I think that's part of it, but they just haven't made the easy plays. They're not pass-faking. They're just kind of throwing it right at defenders' hands. And there's a beautiful back cut. Dremick is special to watch off the, bat, off the ball, and that's why he's able to score at such a high level, averaging... 18 and a half points per game, but he moves so well without the basketball. He reads the defense over playing there, and then the great back cut. And Boise State reclaims the lead. The pull up rattles out from Garrett Nevels. Alexio Meredith should look to be more aggressive off those ball screens. Foul against Mike Thomas of Hawaii is first. And a one and one for Anthony Drimmick. It's the eighth Rainbow Warriors team foul. And there you see Drimmick is a guy that just loves contact. Thomas is trying to do his job on hedging that ball screen, but Drimmick, if you're teaching a guard to use the ball screen, attack that outside hip of the big, try to draw the foul or try to turn the corner. Drimmick executes perfectly. Drimmick, who scored 20 or more in four of the first five games this year, but has not gone over the 20 point plateau since. Trying to get back on track. Coming off a season low six points in their loss to St. Mary's in Boise back on Saturday, December 14th. Well, St. Mary's made it a total focus that they were just going to take Drimmick out of the game and make Marks and Moriaga and, and Watkins beat them. Timeout taken to save the possession. That's now the third timeout used in the first half by Hawaii. So it leaves them with two the remainder of the game. But this Boise State team off to an 8 no start this year. They're trying to snap the two game losing streak. And Leon Rice getting Boise State into the NCAA tournament. First time ever they were an at large team in the tournament. Yeah, and this year's team obviously expected to do bigger and better things. They were. Picked preseason second in the conference. The Mountain West is going to be going to be a beast to go through this year with San Diego State, New Mexico, even Colorado State is is playing better. UNLV has picked up their their play as of late. But Leon Rice, high expectations in Boise, he's turned it around in a very short amount of time. Brandon Spearman in the lane, has his shot blocked. 
But a foul against Thomas Broplay at Boise State. That was pretty good defense, Roxy. I think if we see the replay on that, I'd be surprised if it was a foul on Broplay. They get the isolation at the at the foul line, and then Broplay just goes up. All ball, the ball had actually released from Spearman's hand when he made a play on it. And Broplay's a guy that's a beneficiary of extra practice time, earning more minutes in Coach Leon Rice's rotation. Brandon Spearman leads Hawaii with 11. Anthony Drimmick with 11 to pace Boise State. Spearman, who began his college career at Dayton. Now in his senior season, the Chicago product. Pulls the Bulls within one. And there's a turnover. I know my hands aren't as good as Gib Arnold's was in the first half, and I didn't quite have the leaping ability to go over and, and get that one, but another poor job of handling the pressure by Boise State. Just, just kind of out of sorts, out of whack here in the first half. Very uncharacteristic with so many turnovers. 11 turnovers for the Broncos. They average 10 per game. And they still have the lead. Hawaii has to really try to take advantage of those, but luckily that was a dead ball turnover. There's still two and a half minutes to go in this first half. Isaac Fotu puts Hawaii back in front. And you see that, that hand just padded up and cast, and has a soft cast on there by Fotu, but it really hasn't bothered him. It looks like more of a tape more of a tape job today just with a pad on top because the hand of the bone is healing but you see Schamberger to Nevels Nevels with the side pick and pop action and Fotu just able to square it up and knock down the 17 footer but Fotu's actually been shooting a high percentage with his hand bandaged up 15 of 21 since he broke his hand coming into today's game New Zealand product with his first foul a one and one for Derek Marks, an 83% foul shooter. Hawaii's ninth team foul. He missed the rebound. Quincy Nevels. Approaching two minutes to go in the half, and Hawaii trying to add to a one point lead. much bouncing the play was dead move that basketball and an offensive foul is called on Isaac Fotu and a charge his second personal foul Fotu just drives and I don't know I don't think Drimmick beat him to the spot by any means Drimmick got hit in his shoulder he fell but I feel that was a blocking foul all the way. I hear that Drimmick was still trying to slide into position there when the contact was made. Now you can be moving, but you have to be in legal guarding position, which Drimmick was not there. Fotu has two, and Christian Stan Hardinger with two fouls. Five seconds has gone off the shot clock and they haven't got within 20 feet of the basket. And a three on the way and way off the mark for Mikey Thompson with a putback. Anthony Drimmick. Drimmick just being active. That's how scores can get points. They find ways to get to the foul line. They pick up the garbage around the basket after a poor offensive possession by the Broncos. Brandon Spearman attacks. And a foul is called and Spearman will go to the line. One-point lead for Boise State. Coming up at the half, highlights and analysis from the first three games of the Diamond Head Classic. How about that story at Notre Dame? What a huge loss for Jerry and Grant to be gone the rest of the season. A, a team that was been playing better as of late, had o Ohio State on the ropes yesterday. But Jerry and Grant, their leading scorer, gone for the season. More for Brandon Spearman, who was three of three at the line. Spearman, who last year averaged nine and a half points a game, was lost late in the year because of an ankle injury and missed the first three games this year when he injured that ankle again. But it started each of the last seven. 
And now has 14 points here in the first half, and he gives Hawaii a one-point lead. Now Marks initiating the offense. That's something that Coach Leon Rice tried to work with him on the offseason, being a better point guard, not just a scorer. Anthony Drimmick attacks. Runs over Brandon Spearman in a charge. Offensive foul. Second on Drimmick. And Spearman basically got the same call just now that Drimmick got on the other end, but I think Spearman was actually in a better position on the help side as he steps in right there, number 32. He takes it to his shoulder, but he was planted in a good defensive position there. Drimmick had just put his head down, was going to try to do anything and everything to get to the basket. And now Hawaii can play for the last shot of the half. Need Schamberger, the junior point guard from Los Angeles. Love to see something to get Spearman the basketball again. He's been their most effective on the offensive end. Step back. Short from... Quincy Smith, Derek Marks for midcourt, and Hawaii leads Boise State at the half, a one-point lead for the Rainbow Warriors over Boise State, entertaining first half of play. 32-31 Hawaii, we come back, we'll join Matt Schick and Tim Wells in the studio for the a surprising number of turnovers considering how these teams take care of the basketball, but Brandon Spearman lifting Hawaii in front after they got down by eight early. Well, both teams a little bit wild with the basketball, 21 combined turnovers. If they can get shots, it'll be a lot more high scoring because both teams shooting a high percentage from the field. In the second half, Christian Standardinger really needs to step up. He's 13 points below his average, got the two fouls, but Hawaii was able to maintain. And for Boise State, continue to feed Anthony Drimmick 13 points in the first half for the Broncos' leading score. With the turnovers, Boise State with 12, they give it away only 10 point or 10 turnovers per game and they had 12 in the first half of this contest with Hawaii. Well remember in the one on one we talked about they are plus four and a half in turnover margin per game and now they're minus three going into the second half today. They don't need to turn that around and I think this team is a veteran enough team that they'll be able to do that. Keith Schamberger, Garrett Nevels, Brandon Spearman, Christian Stan Hardinger, Isaac Fotu, the 5 4 Hawaii. As Brandon Spearman recovers for Boise State, Derek Marks, Jeff Aloriaga, Igor Hadzi Maravich, Anthony Drimmick, and Ryan Watkins. As Isaac Fotu missing inside for the tip. And Brandon Spearman has already tied a season high with 16. Spearman, there's just something that's gotten in him, into him tonight. He's ultra aggressive on the offensive end. Started with a hard drive on that possession, and he finished it off with the tip-in. Matched Hawaii's largest lead of the night. Look at Fotu working in the post, denying Watkins that basketball. Adzio Marovich to the basket, off balance. Kept alive by Anthony Drimmick for Boise State. It stays with the Broncos. And Hadzio Marovich could have just laid that basketball in. Stan Hardinger just kind of surrendered there because he has the two fouls, not wanting to pick up an early third. But look at the matchup, Stan Hardinger against Hadzio Marovich. Anthony, or Derek Marks rather missing. Here comes Hawaii. And a reach-in foul called. Jeff Oriaga's just picked up his third. And that's a problem for Leon Rice. His sharpshooter with three fouls. And they've really taken him out of the game. He only got one look in the first half, and that was on a, on a miscommunication. Christian Stan Hardinger up the inbound. Missing the chippy inside. It's cleared by Igor Hadziomerovic. Boy, a point blank chance. Elior up. A three missed by Jeff Aloriaga. 
And a foul going for the rebound against Boise State, and it's the first on Derek Marks. And a couple things you don't see. Stan Hardinger missing a point-blank layup on one end, and Jeff Valoriaga missing a point-blank layup for him in a wide-open three. That young man is over 60% from three on the season. Interesting story you were talking about with Aloriaga growing up in Portland, Miles, <laughs> is how he learned to be such a, an outstanding outside shooter. Well, we know that Portland is one of the rainiest cities in America, and, and he had a, a hoop in his backyard and just kind of a concrete slab. So he said it was, when it's raining, it's hard to dribble the basketball because the ground's obviously always wet. So the one thing he had to learn, about, learn to do was shoot the basketball. And then when he played his older brother, John, in one-on-one, -on -one, every time he tried to go to the rim, John just threw him down to the ground and said, check it up and take it up top. So he said that really taught him also how to shoot the basketball because he didn't want to take the punishment anymore. Boise State basketball underneath is his older brother, John, played at Oregon. And now Jeff finishing up his career, averaging 13 points a game at Boise State. The kick out, Loriaga doesn't shoot it. You see his teammates will look for him. Marks had a had a shot there at the basket, but he thought Loriaga had a better look. A three from the corner, and a foul going for the rebound inside, and it's on Hawaii and Christian Stan Hardinger, his third. What about the closeout by Brandon Spearman? That young man has been all over the place. He gets a piece of that shot by Loriaga. And it appears that Stan Hardinger is shaking up a bit. And there you see Stan Hardinger just, just battling. There you see the push, just two hands on Watkins. Watkins, one of the best offensive rebounders in the country at nearly five per game. 4.8 offensive rebounds per game for Watkins. And it looked like the harm to Stan Hardinger happened after the play as he was tangled up with Ryan Watkins and he seemed to be kicked a little bit below the belt. Davis Rosidis in for Stan Hardinger, who will sit out with the three fouls. Derek Marks missing. Isaac Fotu the rebound for Hawaii. Positive sign that he went up and snatched that with two hands. Lately been rebounding a lot with one. Kick out. There it nevels the pull up. Gets his own miss. Puts it in, his first points of the night. Largest lead for the Bows at five. Rosidis is on Drimmick. Drimmick can take him off the bounce. And a foul called first on Garrett Nevels of Hawaii. And here you see Garrett, Garrett Nevels. He's out here on the perimeter on the left side of your screen. They find him. Little shot fake. Stays with the shot. Follows it. No block out by the Broncos. And then the soft touch on the floater by Nevels. Boise stayed led by as many as eight in the first half of this game. Thomas Bro play in for the Broncos. Also, Mikey Thompson has checked in. Lubarno does an excellent job of mixing up his defenses. Full court presses, zones, traps. But Drimmick says none of that really matters. When I'm spotted up in the corner as he knocks down the three, Drimmick has seemed to find his rhythm tonight after struggling in their two losses. 16 for Anthony Drimmick. Two-point lead for the Bows. Fotu goes to work, and a foul, the second on Ryan Watkins. And Boise State does a good job of moving the ball against this zone defense, and you see Drimmick in the bottom, in the corner, but I love that Ryan Watkins sealed Fotu in, didn't allow him to get to the three-point shooter. That's sacrificing yourself for the betterment of the team and Ryan Watkins. Fotu somehow corkscrews that one up and in. That's an unbelievable play right there by Fotu. Just the agility, the body control, and then the touch on the shot. 
And the jam at the other end by Ryan Watkins for Boise State. A beautiful, unselfish play there by the Broncos. The extra passes leading to the dunk by Watkins. Keith Schamberger nails a three. Schamberger is just such a big difference maker for this team because he's a great assist guy, but he keeps you honest with the three-point shot. He can get to the rim. They just didn't have that last year at the point guard spot. Anthony Trimmick to the basket, scoops it up and in. I love Drimmick's game. Doing so many things, was more of a shooter his freshman year, just stood behind the three-point line, doing catch and shoots, but now more versatile, putting the ball on the floor and attacking the basket. From the corner, Brandon Spearman missing a three. And the rebound, it goes out to Boise State. And Isaac Fotu, the Auckland, New Zealand native, getting busy in the post area. The footwork, the up fake, and the finger roll. In the Hawaiian Islands. Liam Rice right now, the Boise State team, trying to get back into rhythm where early in the year they were clicking, Miles. They put up 100 points in three of their first four games, have not put up 100 in a game since. And the last two, now granted, they played some solid teams, but they're trying to get back into the form they had early in the year. Well, the two losses, one's at Kentucky at Rupp Arena, where your two leading scorers, Drimmick and Marks, go combined 13 for 40 from the field. And then you get out-rebounded by 16 to a more physical, more athletic team. But still, that's a great test for Coach Leon Rice's team as they prepare for conference play in the next couple weeks. Clear out and a foul, the third on Anthony Drimmick. And it's a Hawaii basketball. And the other thing about that Kentucky game is the travel difficulty that Boise State had. They had to bus from Chicago to Lexington, Kentucky to, to play that game. But you know, I talked to Coach Leon Rice about that. He said that wasn't really a factor. Kentucky obviously is just an excellent team and, and outplayed the Broncos on that night. Actually felt it was it was tougher to come back. St. Mary's had had a week off to prepare for Boise State, and then Boise State was playing on shorter rest when they played St. Mary's. Garrett Neville stepped on the end line. A turnover by Hawaii. They're 11. Three on the way. No good from Thomas Broplay. And a foul going for the rebound. And again, it's Drimmick. That is four on Anthony Drimmick with 13.37 remaining. And Drimmick has to realize there, unless he has inside position on that, he has to surrender that, that rebound and know that he has three fouls, can't pick up his fourth with 13 and a half minutes left in this basketball game, especially because he's the only guy that's doing something on the offensive end. He has 18 of their 38 points. Now Leon Rice forced to take him out. And it blocked Ryan Watkins swatting Christian Stan Hardinger. Pro play to the basket. And the rebound controlled by Keith Schamberger for the Bows. Schamberger. Too strong on the fadeaway, but Boise State just losing the ball out of bounds and unforced turnover. Leon Rice is shaking his head. The frustration for a team that normally takes outstanding to control the ball. stays with Hawaii. Well, right now, with Drimmick out of the game, the Boise State Broncos need to bear down here on the, on the defensive end, get some stops, and then 
I need to look for you need to look for Derek Marks to be the guy that that steps up and becomes on attack mode and gets on attack mode here on the offensive end. Christian Stan Hardinger had difficulty taking the inbound pass and the Bulls give it right back to Boise State. Derek Marks, pretty move. And I love, he recognized, I have to be the guy. I'm the second leading scorer on this team. I can get to the rim. The court is open enough, spaced enough for me to be able to turn the corner. Derek Nevels from the baseline. Nevels provides such a soft touch from the outside. Normally lives behind the three-point line, but I love the mid-range game there. And again, it's Marks in the teardrop. Marks can be such an explosive scorer. He's more of a driver. But he had 39 points in a game against Idaho this year. And he has been a second-half performer. 69% of his scoring comes after halftime. Isaac Futu off the mark on a three and a foul. Ryan Watkins clearing out Christian Stan Hardinger. And that Third was, personal. And that was the right call. Watkins just threw Stan Hardinger down, down to the ground. Stan Hardinger just going hard to try to get that offensive rebound. One point lead for Hawaii. And a pretty move by Derek Marks in the floater, pulling Boise State within one. 42. Pete Dursis on the left. David Matlin on the right. There's the two men that make this event possible. And take such great care of us. And so happy to be a part again of the Hawaiian Airlines Diamond Head Classic. And I think they're encouraged by the good crowd on hand tonight. A lot of energy and excitement in the building. And a good matchup between the host team, Hawaii and Boise State. Yeah, and I think they've got a lot of quality teams to come down here. Iowa State in the top 20. Akron, a team that's favored to win their league. St. Mary's will compete for the WCC title. I know they got upset today, and South Carolina, Frank Martin's team, always one of the hardest playing teams in the country. It'll stay with Hawaii. It'll be hard to top the tournament we had here last year. That was a tremendous event, well attended, and some great games, and the championship game coming down to the wire between Arizona and San Diego State. And Miami was here also, the ACC champs. Isaac Fotu. Fotu needs to look to be more aggressive. Coach Gib Arnold told us yesterday he would love to see Fotu go out. We get 30 points in the game sometime. As it stripped inside. Still 10 to shoot. Keith Schamberger in the lane for Fotu. And the rebound cleared by Derek Marks for Boise State. Fotu looked like he got pushed in the back there. And that's an offensive foul. Maybe they got the call wrong initially, and Leon Rice and explaining I, that's the case. And, and I think they the got official. it right. Stan Hardinger pushed Watkins into the on-ball defender. And that's four on Christian Stan Hardinger as Keith Kimball, the official, initially pointed the wrong way. And Stan Hardinger, you see the two hands in the back of Watkins, pushed Watkins into Schamberger there. And that's the right call, a good adjustment by the officiating crew. He's trying to say, who, me? Yeah, <laughs> you that, got him. And that was, the right, that was the right call. Yeah. Stan Hardinger had two hands in the back. And they're making sure that they got the foul on the right guy as they're over at the monitor. Eleven oh eight remaining. Hawaii forty three. Boise State forty two. And if it, they do have the right guy, it is the fourth on Christian Stan Hardinger. And keep in mind, Anthony Drimmick for Boise State yeah, has but, four fouls. But the difference is, Stan Hardinger really hasn't been a factor tonight. Anthony Drimmick has been carrying the Broncos on the offensive side of the basketball. So the officials keep Kimball working with Kip Kissinger and Tommy Short here tonight. That is a foul on Christian Stan Hardinger, his fourth. Hawaii with three team fouls now. 
And Stan Hardinger leaves as Davis Rositis comes in for him. Getting it, reverse lane, and it goes. What a catch by Darius Martz. First of all, the athleticism, and then the hand-eye coordination to go up and grab that basketball with one hand, come down on balance, and then finish. Keith Schamberger loses the ball, and Mikey Thompson is fouled going up. So Boise State with their first lead of the second half, and now a chance to add to it. And as we watch this at home, the pass was off target. But the one-handed catch come down, the pump fake, and then to be able to reverse that off the glass over the seven-footer. Extremely athletic and skilled play by Derek Marks. Second foul on Garrett Nevels, two free throws for Mikey Thompson. One of one at the line tonight. Sophomore from Las Vegas. And Marks has put on his scoring hat ever since Drimmick went out with the four fouls scoring six straight points for the Broncos. And you said it, he has to be the guy to step up. Well, because they're taking away everything from Loriaga, and then Watkins is kind of playing to a stalemate in the post as he's battling Fotu, Rositas, and Stan Hardinger. Three-point lead for the Broncos. Now they change it up, little one, two, two. Second turnover in a row, great hands by Mikey Thompson as Schamberger telegraphs the pass. And now Marks attacks, slips, and a walk. And Derek Marks pleading his case, thinking he was pushed, and that's why he lost his footing. We've seen a number of players slip. It's been a tough go of it at times for the players trying to stay up on their feet here. And trying to wipe up the moisture on the floor. And here you see Marks just trying to penetrate. His feet just get, went out from underneath him. Isaac Fotu as Hawaii breaks the pressure. Brandon Spearman. Two backing in. Kick out. Spearman. Three. That play couldn't have worked out any better for Brandon Spearman. He thought about shooting the ball a couple times on the left side of the floor, but found his postman, relocated, and then gets an open shot. Tie game, 9.45 to play. Derek Marks against Rosinus. What? Here we see great patience on the offensive end. Fotu draws four Bronco defenders to him. Nobody able to get back out to Spearman as he knocks down another three-point shot in perfect rhythm. Turnovers plaguing Boise State. 15 turnovers by the Broncos tonight. Hawaii looking to recapture the lead here. Shot clock at five. And a foul is called with one on the shot clock, and Quincy Smith will get rewarded. Broncos have him locked up. He had nowhere to go. He was going to force a tough shot that was going to be contested. And as a coach, you just get so frustrated as you bail him out with a reach-in foul. Second on Thomas Broplay. Quincy Smith, the 70% foul shooter. And Hawaii goes back in front. Leading score off the bench for Gib Arnold. And Smith hitting both to put Hawaii up two. Hand check. 
Derek Marks fouled on the drive. Quincy Smith his second. Derek Marks so good with the ball, an excellent ball handler. Able to change direction and draw the foul. If Marks could just add a consistent perimeter jumper to his game, he would take it to another level. Loriaga really the only three-point threat on the floor right now for the Broncos. And Quincy Smith shadowing him. Derek Marks, the pull-up. Rattles off. Kept alive. Outstanding work by Ryan Watkins underneath. Eloriaga for the lead. Good. Jeff Eloriaga hits a three, and Boise State goes back in front. All created by Ryan Watkins. 4.8 offensive rebounds per game. He's just more active than anybody on the floor for the Rainbow Warriors. And then the offensive rebound, Watkins keeps it alive, and then Loriaga rewards him with the three-point shot. The 2014 All-State Sugar Bowl. Two powerhouses clash in the Big Easy. Bob Stoops leads his... Night one in Honolulu, 49-48. Boise State leading Hawaii. It's a big three by Jeff Loriaga giving Boise State back the lead. And the winner of this game will play South Carolina tomorrow in the semifinals of this Hawaiian Airlines Diamond Head Classic in the other bracket. Iowa State remains unbeaten. The number 17 Cyclones will take on Akron, who defeated Oregon State earlier today with the president, Barack Obama, in the building to see his brother-in-law coach Oregon State. But the Beavers came up short against the Zips, and Keith Dambrod's team moved into the semifinals. Isaac Fotu on the block. Quincy Smith in the lane. And Brandon Spearman lost the ball out of bounds. It goes to Boise State. One point lead. Boise State leading Hawaii. Quarterfinals at the Hawaiian air shooting for Boise State. It's really helped them tonight. Well, Boise State shoots 39% on the season. Aloriaga, one of the best in the country, at 60% coming into today. Four different guys has not, have knocked down a three. And you see the spacing has really helped the Broncos in a three-point shot. Get helping give them the lead with eight with 750 to go in this game. Boise State and Hawaii both coming in this game, scoring 86.4 points a game. A lot of similar numbers offensively for both these teams. And we figured we'd have a tight one. That's exactly what these teams have delivered. And the scoring is really down only because they're wasting possessions by turning the basketball over. Both teams with 14 turnovers in the game. Plus some foul difficulty on both sides. Anthony Drimmick, the leading scorer for Boise State. On the bench with four. Christian Stan Hardinger with four fouls for Hawaii. Ryan Watkins underneath. Nice job by Broplay with the middle drive, getting to the paint, and then finding Watkins underneath for the lay-in. How long will give Arnold to keep his leading scorer on the season? Christian Sanhardinger on the bench. Ten to shoot. And a turnover by... Davis Rositis and Stan Hardinger heading to the table to check in. The official stops play. 
wet spot underneath the basket where Marks fell on the last possession. And now Christian Stan Hardinger comes back along with Garrett Nevels. Stan Hardinger struggling to get on track tonight. Averages 18 and a half points a game. First team all Big West selection last season. And as Gib Arnold goes with his big horse, Stan Hardinger, Anthony Dremick has been on that bench for a long time, saddled with the four fouls, has been having an excellent game on the offensive end. How long will Leon Rice leave him over there? Shot clock at 10. Derek Marks. Thomas Brooklay hits the three. Thomas, his first points tonight. Thomas Brooklay, 47% three point shooter, has earned extra minutes tonight because of his work and practice over the last week. And a timeout taken by Gib Arnold. So Boise State has opened up a six point lead, and again it's from downtown. Well, it's being created by Derek Marks there. Stan Hardinger gets caught underneath, lazy on the defensive end. You have to know who you're guarding, know the personnel in the scouting report of the other team, and that bro play is a three-point shooter and have to be able to get body-to-body -body with him. But you love Derek Marks being able to create for his teammate. Over the last week or so, Leon Rice has had a saying with his team, bounce for your teammate. When you put the ball on the floor, you're not trying to create for yourself. You're trying to create for a teammate. Derek Marks embodied that right there. Take a look again at our bracket here at the Hawaiian Airlines Diamond Head Classic. Iowa State, Akron in one semifinal. South Carolina against the winner of this matchup will be the other semifinal game. South Carolina handing St. Mary's their first loss of the season tonight. Hawaii needs a bucket here. Isaac Fotu again goes with that spin move off the window and in. Fotu is so skilled in the post. There he has excellent footwork and there you see the soft touch using the glass again. Mark's doing an excellent job of running the offense, getting in what he wants. Derek Marks drives to the basket, missed it. Inside the tip out to Thomas Brokeway, and Boise State resets. Mikey Thompson. Gives it to Marks. Step back for the three, it's short. And the rebound, Garrett Nevels for Hawaii. Quincy Smith to the basket. Missed the lane, tipped up and in for the weak side by Christian Stan Hardinger. I think we're gonna see Drimmick soon for the Broncos. There he is checking in, two point game. Because it can't be just all marks having three. He's wearing down a little bit. Christian Stan Hardinger playing with four fouls. Shot clock at 10. Mikey Thompson. Step back, tough three. No good from Thomas Bro playing the rebound. Garrett Nevels, Hawaii. Schamberger, we're tied. Tough shot by Schamberger. Created just enough space to get a shot off and knock it in. Fourth tie of the game. We've seen eight lead changes. And timeout, Boise State. <laughs> Keith Schamberger just the crossover. Creates a little bit of space, the up fake to gather himself, and then the soft touch from about eight feet to tie this basketball game up. <laughs> They're fired up. 
in the stand sheriff center right now getting behind their bows as the, as they should be <laughs> <laughs> six nothing run for hawaii to pull even after boise state it opened up a six point lead and anthony drivick coming back with his four fouls so he's playing with four three for ryan watkins while hawaii Christian Stan Hardinger with four, and nobody else with more than two. So Drimmick, who's been out for about 10 minutes. And that's just a game time match, and he's been sitting longer because of timeouts and fouls. And Ryan Watkins off the feed from Drimmick. I love seeing coaches draw up ATOs after timeout plays. Garrett Nevels answers. Too easy. Good attack by Nevels, but poor defense by the Broncos. Aloriaga for three. Got it. Jeff Valoriaga puts Boise State up three. And Roxy, that was just motion offense. That wasn't a set play. Great movement off the ball by Drimmick and Iloriaga there. Stan Hardinger. Too strong on the three. Rebound, it's loose. Trying to get timeout. Jump ball, Boise State basketball. Broncos have the ball and a three-point lead. 2.33 remaining in Honolulu. What a final matchup of the Hawaiian Airlines Diamond Head Classic, and Miles, take us inside the play. Roxy, as we go inside the play here, we see Anthony Drimmick right here. I talked about he's one of the best moving without the basketball in the country. And as we roll this, we freeze it right here. Drimmick is gonna curl, and he's gonna take Quincy Smith who is Iloriaga's man completely out of this play. He curls, gets a piece of Quincy Smith, too late on the switch, and that frees up his partner, Iloriaga, for the three. Drimmick doesn't get credit with an assist there, but he should because of the excellent job of moving without the basketball and then screening Quincy Smith to free up Jeff Iloriaga. Boise State, eight of 17 from beyond the arc. They're shooting at 50% for the night. Here comes Mikey Thompson into the front court. Underneath, Derek Marks. Shot blocked by Isaac Foto. Out of bounds, Quincy Smith. It stays with Boise State. What a block by Foto to be able to recover on that. Again, another great out of timeout play. Another ATO drawn up by Leon Rice. The curl cut, the layup, but Foto comes from that ball side to block that, to block the shot. 18 on the shot clock. Derek Marks with six. Fade away. And the rebound, Keith Schamberger for Hawaii. And nearly picking up the fifth foul on Anthony Drimmick. I'd love to see Fotu get a post touch. Kick out. Quincy Smith to the basket. Count it and one. What a job by Quincy Smith. Pump fakes on the right side, passes up a three. Then goes all the way to the rim and absorbs the contact from Ryan Watkins and now is going to the line to try to tie this basketball game. Fourth foul on Watkins and what a gutsy take by Quincy Smith. And we are tied again with 137 remaining. Crowd trying to become a factor here. Five seconds. Just 
Derek Marks. The kick. Taken away. Here come the Bows. Block is called against Jeff Aloriaga, his fourth. One ten remaining. And free throws for Hawaii and Keith Schamberger. And the Loriaga is just on complete retreat. Gets his feet, gets his feet planted, but Schamberger going into the upward motion of the shot. Schamberger, an 86% free throw shooter. First trip to the stripe tonight. The transfer from San Jose State. Started all 63 games for the Spartans. Sat out last year. And when we did the Diamond Head last year, Coach Gib Arnold and his assistants, they knew what they had in Schamberger, a guy that can help change this team and help this team compete for the Big West title. No good with the first one. And an 86% foul shooter, one more coming. He leads by one. Watch for Dremick, has the size advantage. Has a good look, hits a three. 21 for Dremick. Excellent play to call with the misdirection and then the flare screen to free up Dremick with the hot hand. He's Schamberger to the basket. Has his shot blocked. And it stays with Hawaii. Mikey Thompson with the rejection. Christian Stan Hardinger coming back. For Quincy Smith. Now if you're Hawaii, you try to go two for one. You have 11 seconds before the shot clock would reset and that might give you an extra possession in this game Ooh, they had foe two off the inbound underneath Schamberger and a walk is called travel and a turnover 16 turnovers by Hawaii tonight but now a big decision by coach Gib Arnold with 6.9 differential in here you see Schamberger one two three easy call for the officials do you foul or play out this possession? Boise State, one of the best free throw shooting teams in the country, over 76%. Looks like they're gonna play it out. Hawaii with only one timeout. And Dremick with the big three to give Boise State the lead. Can't get it. Hawaii with a chance. Keith Schamberger runs it up ahead. Quincy Smith attacks and draws the foul. 8.7 seconds. And Roxy, Second on Derek Marks. What I love about that play the most, Gib Arnold has a timeout in his pocket that he didn't use it because a lot of times coaches will call timeouts and that'll allow a set, a set defense for Boise State. But they get the rebound and then they're on attack mode while Boise State's in a scramble mode defensively. And Quincy Smith puts the onus on the officials to make a call as he attacks and gets the contact there by the Boise State Bronco defender. Leon Rice wants time. <laughs> 62 60 Boise State. So the Broncos with 8.7 seconds. Leon Rice talking some strategy, but also. Trying to make Quincy Smith think about it. Take a look at this moment of brilliance brought to you by K Jewelers. And Anthony Dremick, who had sat a majority of this second half, received the flare screen. Schamberger goes underneath. Vote two too late on the closeout. And the knockdown three by Anthony Dremick to give him a two-point lead late in this basketball game. So Dremick with 21 points, leading all scorers in the game. Brandon Spearman leads Hawaii with 19. And Drimmick, who sat for about 10 minutes after picking up his fourth foul, comes off the bench to make a huge shot for Boise State. But Smith at the line, three of three tonight, on the season, a 70% free throw shooter. 
A sophomore from Antioch, California in the San Francisco Bay Area. So two shots for Smith. Rattles out. One more shot. Each side has one timeout remaining. On a tie-up, it goes to Hawaii. Smith gets the second. And now Hawaii will take their last timeout. One-point lead for Boise State. 62-61 after the first free throw rattled out for Quincy Smith. He gets the second. And so Hawaii, you got to assume, will play with full court pressure here and foul immediately if they don't get the steal? Yeah, you got to go for the steal on the first pass only, only with 8.7 left and foul immediately. But also in this timeout, Gib Arnold, with, with no timeouts left now, after the foul, he has to draw up the play that he wants for the final shot, whether it's a two-pointer or a three-pointer, depending on the free throws made or what happens with Boise State. And the other thing to keep an eye on, Hawaii has committed only five team fouls. So even if they foul, Boise's not into the bonus yet. On the second foul committed by the Rainbow Warriors, that's when Boise State will enter the bonus. Here's what they're playing for. The winner of this matchup will meet South Carolina here in the semifinals tomorrow night. In semifinal number one, 17th ranking unbeaten Iowa State. Fred Hoiberg's team will battle Akron as they knocked off Oregon State in a game here at the Sheriff Center that featured a visit by the President of the United States. Barack Obama was here to see his brother-in-law, Craig Robinson, the head coach of Oregon State. And a couple things that are important for Boise here. When you gather that basketball, be strong with it because if it's if it's a jump ball, it's going to be Hawaii basketball. So you want to rip through, get that ball out of your hands. And Hawaii does not foul. And now they do with 5.1 remaining. And again, that does not put Boise State into the bonus. That's the sixth team foul. But that was three and a half, three and a half critical seconds that go off the clock when they gamble and don't get the steal, and then you don't get the foul right away. Second foul on Brandon Spearman. And now Boise State will burn their last timeout. And Hawaii nearly came away with a steal off a risky inbounds pass. Well, I like the idea right there. And then they try to go right back to Thompson. Spearman just a half a, half a step late. But then Neville's not able to commit the foul quickly enough after Spearman gambled. 62-61, Boise State. So this foul, assuming Hawaii commits one on the inbound, will put Boise State into the one-and-one. 5.1 one. seconds remain. And so Hawaii needs to foul immediately. And if they do, and even if Boise State hits both, it's still a one-possession game. Well, every player on the floor right now for the Boise State Broncos is 70% or higher from the foul line. Boise State needs to come back and meet the basketball, come to a jump stop. You don't want to travel. In this case, secure, secure that pass. Boise State, some of the football players are here enjoying this one, trying to cheer on their fellow student athletes at Boise State. Again, the Sheraton Hawaii Bowl coming up on Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern. Loriaga and a foul immediately by Spearman. 4.7 remaining. And Ryan Watkins will shoot a one and one, a 75% free throw shooter. Four point seven seconds. And Watkins first trip to the line tonight. Now remember in four point seven seconds. Plenty of time if it's a one or two point game to go coast to coast. You can get four dribbles on that and that's plenty to get from paint to rim on the other end. So Watkins the senior. A one and one here for Boise State. Misses. Here come the Bows. Out of timeouts. Garrett Neville 
Bucks to the win. Hawaii is trying to say there should be a goaltend against Boise State. They're not even going to look at it. The ball game is over. And Boise State hangs on and wins 62 61. Here's another look at that last play and what Hawaii was complaining about feeling there should have been a goaltend. There you see Nevels with the shot. It was the Hawaii player that was in the net. And then Derek Marks, when the ball was outside the cylinder, just. Yeah. That was Sham Shamberger, Shamberger on the net. Derek Marks, ball was clearly off the rim as he knocked it away. Time had expired. So Boise State hangs on, and they defeat the home team, the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors, in a nail biter, 62 61. So Boise State moves on into the semifinals. It'll be Boise State, South Carolina in semifinal number two. Four more games here tomorrow at the Sheriff Events Center on the campus of the University of Hawaii. Iowa State, Akron in semifinal number one. Coming up next, it's NCAA Women's Volleyball Championships. And don't forget to join us tomorrow for more. Holiday Hoops presented by K Jewelers as Iowa State takes on Akron and Boise State in South Carolina. Final score, Boise State 62, Hawaii 61. Good night from Honolulu. Welcome to Seattle, Washington.